I'm Carla Wade. Right now on your 13 Action News update, Metro says a medical episode might have led to a crash that killed an 80-year-old woman. That wreck happened around 1130 this morning near Stations Casino on Boulder Highway. Metro says the woman was pulling out of the hotel parking lot when she crossed all the lanes and then hit another vehicle. And the woman was taken to the hospital where she later died. The other driver suffered minor injuries. NHP is sending out an alert about a phone scam where the caller claims to be the state police. Troopers say that several people in Reno have received the call from a blocked number. A man says he's with NHP, then says there's an outstanding warrant for your arrest. He then asks you to go to a Walgreens pharmacy to take the money out to pay for that warrant. NHP says they would never call anyone in an attempt to clear an outstanding warrant. If you get this call, make sure that you contact police. And a heads up for drivers that are heading downtown this weekend. NDOT will be closing two ramps, the I-15 northbound off ramp to Charleston eastbound, as well as the Charleston on ramp to I-15 southbound will not be open to traffic. Both of them will be closed from 10 tonight until 6 o'clock Monday morning. Those improvements are a part of Project Neon's widening of Interstate 15. Well, outside temperatures still cool uh, today, and that's going to be the case as you go into your evening. Temperatures dropping back into the 40s for the most part across the valley. Now we could see some temperatures into the 30s once again by 9 o'clock. That's in those outskirts areas, but a cool morning expected with temperatures in the mid 30s. Tomorrow, those changes start to knock on our door. A very small chance of picking up some rainfall. Winds are picking up as well, and that will be the case into Sunday. Those forecasts uh, details are coming up tonight on 13 Action News. All right, that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com, our mobile app, our Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV. Thank you for making 13 Action News part of your day.